Hello again everybody, hope you're all well, it's Pete here, um, try to bring you another update on the uh, 40 Ford and, uh, and, a, and uh, a, a set of 3D printed seats I, I've picked up, but before I do that I want to give a shout out to these two fellas and, and try and get you people to go and look at them, uh, one is Curtis Lowe all lowercase there he's an absolutely fantastic builder really well detailed you know um last nut and bolt nearly probably um fantastic builder go and check him out really uh, I'm, i've given him a shout out before he's up to about a hundred subs but he should really be on a thousand and rats live one two five written like this as well uh, with a capital and then lowercase and a hyphen and caps for live he's very imaginative he's coming out with some tremendous paint schemes and and conversions really good blokes the pair of them um, go and check them out please um yes do that uh the other thing i wanted to thing was i picked up a set of uh 3d printed bomber seats they're uh, listed as uh 124th and um, so they're this is 124th from a company called edition 6 scale models over here in the uk um i don't know whether you can get a blip off of that there um do that anybody who does that electrical sort of stuff on on that i don't know probably too fuzzy to even see it and it but anyway they're called edition 6 scale models and i didn't have any you know they were on ebay um and I've got here a Bel Air back seat. Uh, you know, a red moulded, uh, well it's red now, uh, an old bucket seat. And these ones, these are really quite nice and I've forgotten what they come out of. A nice hex pat um, pattern on the back. But I thought they're just a handy compare to the size of this one. It's um, a little bit higher than that. But they're so well cut and well detailed, you know, with the straps up there for your, your shoulder straps. I mean, it does give you actually more back. I can't see there being any, in reality, anything wrong with that and that. Whereas, you know, your shoulders would be up here on this. About the same as getting your shoulder straps over. So that, that's pretty cool, but they're really nice. Um, seat pad moulded in down there. Um, there is a sort of hut... Uh, arc pattern down there which is from the printing but I'm sure that would sand off um, but they're, re they're really nice I'm really chuffed with them they were £9 a pair post free and I got uh, two pairs but they're, they're really really nicely made um, getting them out of the way uh, Trevor Celescu was saying about the wonderful Thunderbird engine that was chrome plated and this was one i found it in the 34 ford pickup model but the fit of everything was so poor i just slung it in a, in a bucket of bleach to start de chroming it and then try to detail the distributor and the water pump i nicked off of another model to try and improve that and in you know then i wanted to uh, delete the starter motor for this and put in a bit of ring gear in there and i can see it with my eyes i hope this camera picks it up um you know to give a bit of a clutch going on as you, you know take the starter out you got the ring gear where the bendix engages so i bunged that in there and then thought this is rubbish it's a bloody horrible motor i'm wasting my time on it um so i i looked around further and uh i've now got a a big blue engine sitting in there which i'll show you in a minute moving on also i i've just out of my bits of bobs that i've got second hand is this uh little uh axle which i think comes from a 34 ford uh phaeton um but it's had a little bit of work done to it the previous owners increased the support there bolt out the caliper a bit which I can live with, I can work with this. Um, I'm going to take off the transverse leaf spring because it's horrendous. 
and then mount lateral leaf springs uh, on this chassis much in the same way as this which is possibly going to be my rear axle but I'm not happy with that either That's... but a bit of sanding and I'll see what it looks like I might take the springs off and redo the springs because there's no no um, no clamp details on it so uh, <clears throat> I just might as well make up some new ones but I might might use that as the axle on the wheels I quite like the idea of centre lines on the back but I didn't really want them on the front but I've got these really nice skinnies or these ones with an option of these wheels that come from the flashback I think 56 or 57 forward I always get my dates modelled up um, but I quite like those as a pairing with those um, rather than ha having you know centre lines back and front I don't know um, but moving on to the, the, the body as, you can, as I can drop it everywhere put my floor back in temporarily Slap that back in there. Got a shake, rattle and roll. This is the third filming of this. I've lost, I'm going to end up damaging parts because I've had to do this three times and even now I don't know that it's going to upload. God knows where the other ones went. Anyway, um, as you can see, a blue engine fell out. Fell out of a big uh, flip front Malco Mustang, and there's a uh, little bit of adaption there. I've uh, bored the the uh, tunnel out a bit there. There was a where are you? Out through there, and removed the transmission support bracket temporarily, so as I can drop that down, and it ain't gonna work now and into there I've still got a bit of work to do to get it done because I needed to give myself some more cylinder head clearance so, and I still do because uh, that's not going to go back any further without some major bulkhead work um, so I need to get a little bit more clearance in there and I've done that again with heat uh, you can see up in there, I've heated that up to, to bend that out of the way. I want to try and uh, get a, keep as much of the inner fenders as possible and just have cutaways for the exhaust, which I'm hoping to use these going out sideways, like out through there, possibly out through the, through there, you know, back out and through something like that straight out there with a conical um, I think that covers nearly everything what have I forgot oh yeah scoop made that up the other day to try and give me a oh that was the thing yeah. so I have some sort of scoop on the front there um, the other thing I did to while away a little bit of time the other day was this on the front as i blocked off one grill i thought i'd open up the other ones and <laughs> only took me six hours to to file away and clear out those grooves to give me a open louvered front grill but i think it looks neat i was chuffed when i finished it without breaking any uh, that's a bit more. Like I said, the roof chop's coming on up on well. Um, what was that? Yeah. Oh yeah, the other thing was Gary Parker. Find yourself something like this to start with, mate. And then it's a straight down chop. Uh, although this one's got opening doors to mess with, that's still the same. Just me measure your distance you want to take it out, and then go. You know, if you want to learn doing this, go for. A vertical straight down chop first before you do anything with curves but I hope that encourages you and find second hand kits Gary as well as I just saw them up and throw them away 
or you know if you cock them up you don't have to cry about it you know it's just all learning experience but uh that's it for the moment plonk that all back together while i get it all tidied up edition six for those uh seats and these two fellas go and check them out they'll make your life more fulfilled best wishes from jolly old england bye